Here in problem six, we are wanting to find the slope of the line that would pass through the points that we've been given. So if we were to take these points, plot them on a piece of graph paper, plot them on the coordinate plane, and draw the line that intersects those points, we want to know what would the slope of that line be. And the key thought for slope is to always keep in mind that slope is thought of as being the change in the y, or the change in the vertical, divided by the change in the x, or the change in the horizontal. And you figure that change between any two points that are on the line. Well, we have these two points that are said to be on our line in question. So if we simply calculate what the change was as you went from this point to this point, what was the change in y, put that in the numerator of a fraction, determine what the change of x was going from this point to this point, put that in the denominator of the fraction, reduce the fraction, and we have our slope. So going from the point 6, 3 to the point 7, 8, the y value here is 3, the y value here is 8. So the y went from being 3 up to being 8. That's an increase of 5 for the change in y. At the same time, the x went from 6 to 7. That's an increase of 1 for the x. So the slope of the line that would pass through those two points would be a slope of 5. So slope can be determined by examining two points that are on the line and thinking about how did the y change, how did the x change between those two points. Let's look at another one that we had here in problem 6. We have the two points, negative 4, negative 3. and negative 6, negative 5. So let's look at these two points and see how the y changed, see how the x changed, form that fraction, that's our slope. So the y value here is negative 3. The y value here is negative 5. So if we went from negative 3 to negative 5, that's a decrease of 2, isn't it? If you go from a temperature of 3 below 0 to a temperature of 5 below 0, didn't the temperature decrease 2 degrees? So the change in y there would be a negative 2 change. At the same time, the x went from negative 4 to negative 6. So now again, you went from negative 4 degrees to negative 6 degrees, you decreased 2 degrees. And negative 2 over negative 1, or excuse me, negative 2 over negative 2 is a slope of positive 1. So the line that you could draw through those two points would have a slope of positive 1. Let's look at one more. And the other example we had here was the point negative 3, 2, and the point negative 5, 4. So looking at those two points and thinking about the change in y and the change in x. So as y went from 2 to 4, that's what? An increase of 2. Going from 2 to 4 is an increase of 2 as far as the change in y. Now let's look at x. x went from negative 3 to negative 5. That would be a decrease of 2. You went from 3 below to 5 below in the temperature. That's a decrease of 2. Positive over a negative is negative. 2 divided by 2 is 1. The slope of the line that would pass through those two points would be a slope of negative 1. So when you have two points and you need to find the slope, think of what slope means. It's how did the y change, how did the vertical change, while the x was changing, the horizontal was changing. And if you th simply think about those changes, put them into a fraction form, reduce the fraction, you'll have the slope of the line.